There we go. And when you swing, let's try to turn the hips a little bit. Oh, okay. Kind of like golf. Okay. When at, as you swing, you okay. turn the hips. There we go. Okay. Good. So, hey everybody. I'm Ziv. Welcome to this channel. And this is another video in the series of Voices from China. And today I'm doing something new, talking to the expat youth in China. I'm here with Jojo Man. Thank you for having me, Ziv. He's a student athlete who grew up in China most of his life and is soon going to university back in the States. Hey Jojo. How's it going, Ziv? Good, so this is a place where you were uh, practicing yeah, I also last... volunteered and helped out. All right, uh, yeah. cool. So you are from the US? I'm mixed. You're mixed? Yes. W what kind of mix? My mom is Filipino and my dad is American. Okay, so mom Filipino, your dad is American, and you grew up at the beginning of your life in the US? Correct. I was born in Boston and I was raised in New Jersey. Okay. And I lived there for about six years of my life until I moved over to China. Okay, so you moved here when you were six to China. Yeah. First Xiamen, right? From, yeah, first went to Xiamen and then now Dongguan. Dongguan. All right, and soon you're going back to the U.S. Correct. All right. So how how is it? Uh, you know a little bit of growing up in the U.S. until you were six, mm -hmm. and then you moved to China. How was growing up in China for you? Culture As, shock at first. Culture, culture shock. shock, of course. Okay. But I just felt like it was a new chapter and new beginnings to open up and learn something new. Okay. And I take this learning of cultures and everything here and bring it back to where I originated. Okay, and uh, you during that time in China, which is the last, what, 12 years almost? Oh, I guess? about 11, yeah. 11, 11 years, years. You, you went regularly back home to the US to visit, visiting? Uh, about once a year. Once a once year. Once a year. How, how is it, how does it feel to go back to the US? I mean, with your peers back home um, compared with your peers here? Going back home, it just like, brings you a little taste of where you came from and I love seeing family there and I always miss them and obviously I'll come back and see them soon but I don't know there's something different about here too it's just like you can say there's two two different homes from across across the world so you think growing up here is different correct wait can, can you put your finger on what like uh, you you've seen you have probably friends family back home that have been growing up there What's the main differences you can see? Is it better here or it's... There's pros and cons to both. Okay. Pros what and cons to both. I mean, I enjoyed 11 years here. Okay. And I, wouldn't re I don't regret anything that I've done or learned here. I would say difference is just the whole social work here. Like how people communicate with each other. Obviously the language is different. Right. The food is different. Mm -hmm. The learning system is different. And just like... I don't know, transportation, literally everything is different. Would you have preferred living in the States more in the last few years? Or you, you don't, you said you don't regret it, but... Yeah, I think I'm happy with the way life is and everything happens for a reason, so I'm happy where I am. Right, yeah. and soon you're going back. Correct. You're going to the US to study, yes. right? Uh, on a baseball scholarship. Correct. But when did you start playing baseball? Started playing baseball around three. My dad introduced it to me and my mom also like welcomed it. Uh, okay. Was opening to bring me to practices and all that. Okay, so your dad used to play, right? We right, actually talked to, to your play. dad, Jim, before. We will put the link below to the podcast we did with Jim. Mm -hmm. But so the, you, he introduced you to baseball when you were three. Right. Like you can really hold it when you're three, like uh, the small one. Maybe the ball, but <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> maybe the ball. And did you like it right away? I feel like I loved it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I still enjoy it and love it. Because I know you play other stuff too. You correct, like basketball? Correct. I do like basketball. I have played volleyball. Right. I, I always try to get athletic and play all sports, but okay. baseball is my number one. All right. So then you, you, you kept playing here all throughout until now. I mean, and you take it very seriously, right? And you get yes. a scholarship. Yes, I do take it seriously. It's kind of unique, right? To have a, an expat student in China um, getting a, a, an athlete scholarship mm -hmm. back home. Was it something you aimed for for a long time? It's something I believe I deserve and aim for since the beginning. And did you get to the place you wanted to get? Ooh, uh, yes, I got to the place. Where is it? Well, I'm going to New York, New Monroe York. Community College. Okay. 
I will be there for maybe one to two years and then hope to go further. All right. Okay, now let's, uh, let's continue here. This place is called... Better Batter. Better Batter, sure. right. And it's a place where people can come to practice and, and just have fun and learn the sweet baseball. Right. Um, so show me, we, you just showed me how to stand, how to do the fundamental, right? right? What's next? What would they do next here? Usually I would send the people over here and okay. their personal choice, whether it's the So here is the, the ball would come from there. Right, let me get the coin. Okay, get it. Get a coin. Oh, okay. So I can see, like, I there can you see. Go. You got the hang of it. You got the hang of it. It's coming again. There's, there's a b bunch of balls. There we go. Now you got it. Okay. I must be a good coach. There we go. There we go. You're getting the hang of it. Okay. It's hot. Yeah. How about you try? You All do right. it. So the, let's see the strong one. And this is really slow ball, right? Yeah, this is the slower one. Slow ball. Yeah. <laughs> so this speed is equal equal to what age of uh, like you throw faster than this, right? Oh yeah, of course. Oh yeah. <laughs> so. I would say maybe five, six, five, six years old. Five, six year old will throw like this already? Uh, maybe really? Seven. <laughs> maybe when you were six. <laughs> I don't think uh, a regular. Six maybe year maybe old. Ten, ten. Yeah, ten. I think so. And so this what speed? What was it? I would what say was? about ten miles per hour, maybe forty kilometers. This. Uh, yeah. And and that the, the good the, the fast one. Maybe seventy. To seventy kilometers. Kilometers per hour. Yeah. And what is like uh, in you're gonna see in college? 140, 130. 140. So double than that. Oh yeah. <laughs> but and it's a little further the distance. What's the fastest you actually had to deal with until now? The fastest I ever. I mean, you don't know exactly, but. Oh, it was it was on a gun, a radar gun. It was. Uh, ah, there was. Okay. Yeah, it was about 88. 88. 87. So you're going to uh, have to. Yeah. Go up there. Yeah, go up 87 miles per hour. So it was about like one, 135. Ah, okay. Kilometers. So one more time. Right. And what's like major league? Uh, 95 miles per hour. So okay. about 150. So you are, uh, what do you call it? The batter or you are? Uh, I do pitcher? both. You when are your both. Yeah. When I go to college, I'll be doing both. Are you doing both? Way. But in the, eventually, uh, baseball players need to kind of specialize in. Mo 90, 95 percent of them do. Okay. 95 percent. So you're still doing both. But right, I still do both until somebody or some coach tells me I prefer you in one place. So this is how you grew up. You wanted you you you, you were doing both, thinking I want to get better in both as long as I can. I grew up learning every single position uh, yeah, because you never know when you'll need it. Okay. Never know. And what do you like best? I prefer pitching the most. I oh, prefer pitching. Ball. Yeah. Okay. So you learn different kind of uh, throw. Correct, right? correct. Okay, that's good. All right. So I want to I want to press you a bit more about this kind of you know um, third your third culture kid. You actually fourth. I always say your your kind of my kids and you a fourth culture kid because your mom has one culture, your dad has another culture, mm -hmm. China is another culture, yeah. and you have the fourth one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So and again, I asked you before about uh, growing up, you know, in different places. So. What what do you think you I mean there are pros and cons you said it right right to growing up here it's pros and, cons. and pros and cons probably to grow up back home right what did you miss what the things that over the years you looked at your cousins or whatever here back home in the US and you kind of wish you had but you grew up in China you had other things but you didn't have that I'm kind of wondering about that from from your perspective don't get me wrong I enjoyed the food here but okay. there's something about the the old style American food. So food? Yeah, the food. So I would say the food. Because I like all cultured food, but like just uh, something about the food in America. Is okay. Like um, all right. I mean, I guess family would be something, right? right. Family is something we right. miss. We all miss, right? Yeah. Um, family. So what languages do you speak? You speak English. English. It's your first language. Right. And you speak Chinese? Chinese. Correct. But you went to international school. Right. So how do you... You speak Chinese quite well, I think. Decent. How... 
It's just from learning it in uh, international school? In class, school? right. I would usually, um, there's an international school of Dong Guan. They right. taught me uh, Mandarin classes. Right. And I think what really bumped up my level is actually just going out to different places, Have playing Chinese baseball friends, as well. Have Chinese baseball. friends, playing baseball right. somewhere, and just really practicing, you know. So also, uh, being a student athlete mm -hmm. in China mm -hmm. must be very different than in the US, right? Easily, yeah. Much harder uh, process. Did you have less opportunities to Wait. play? Uh, I believe I had a lot of opportunities and I made the most out of it. But I feel like it's you're less recognized over here because you're on the other side of the world. Right. Right. So, um, but you, you practiced a lot as much as you would back home? I believe I, I believe I practice more here. You practice more here even? Okay. So that, that's interesting. Because the weather is good here. and. Just having the field right near you and all these different like places I can practice in. So now you're going to play bowling in, in college and but the chance for you to go up to be a professional like anyone that goes in college, right, is slim. Right. So uh, how much do you want it? Badly. Like, you want it badly. Of course, of course. Yeah? Um, I mean, I guess everybody wanted it badly, right? Like, yeah. so, so college will be a step up in uh, intensity from now of, of practicing? In intensity, and uh, pressure, of course, because everything matters, right? Like here in high school, you mess up, you mess up. But college, it's like, it's where a lot of pro scouts will look at you, come to you every game. And it's not just the baseball, it's also the academics. If I'm not performing well in school, they might not like look at me as much. And it's also my attitude towards the game and towards the people around me. Right. So it's more pressured and higher level of play. Do you think there is a chance that you may, in a few years, you may actually come back to Asia to play ball? That was always talked about. I always thought about that, like maybe on the retirement years. Because I mean, that's, that's professional ball too, right? Of course, of course. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and your mom is from the Philippines. Yeah. And baseball is big there too, right? Uh, or growing. So growing, so? Growing. Okay, growing. Growing, it's growing. Right, because your dad played in Korea? Korea and Taiwan. Korea and Taiwan. Right. I saw Taiwan and stuff. So so you, you for the future, you, you, you do you have plans? Like where you're going to? Or you let baseball take you wherever it's going to take I you? I let baseball take me. It already taken me, so I'm going to let it continue to take me. Right, okay. All right, I want to see you uh, betting on the first one. All right. Okay? You, not me. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I, we just, I just saw you doing the, uh, the fastball, Correct. right? It's like, uh, you say 70 or more miles more per hour, and it's shorter right. than the baseball field. Okay, so when you come here, you, you just do that, or you do all, you just do that? These two, the just, middle. These, these, the the faster balls, yeah. right? Okay, all right, um, so my, my last question is, like you growing up here, uh, doing second to, to 12th grade in China, but being in the US before, what would be your advice to other uh, expat teenagers growing up as expats in China? I think my advice would be to bring something home from home that you like and try to bring it here. You brought baseball here. And find something new here that you can experience and enjoy and put the cultures together. So it's experience mix the culture, yeah, bring, mix the bring your home here, yeah. but also take from the local culture. Take from the local culture. And yeah. then uh, mix it together. And I think you don't regret living here, right? Never. Right. Never All right. Well, Jojo, it was great talking to you. Yeah. Um, you are leaving China in, in a week and a half. Correct. This video might be out after you go. Yeah, even, I'll right? be watching it in yeah, America. You, you may be watching it on, uh, on YouTube, not on WeChat, right? right? And uh, I wish you good luck. Thank you so much. Hope to see you play professionally and basically uh, achieve all your dreams. Mm -hmm. It was great to have someone like you here as an expert teenager all these years. And I guess now it's for the next generation of, of, uh, yeah. of youngsters in, in Dongwa. Thank all you right? so much for having me, Zoo. Thanks, man. And you. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like and a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Until we see you next time, have a good day. See ya.